hello this is your mentor from creative connect learning and in this after effect tutorial I'm going to cover some shape layer animation through modifiers I know it would be a very short tutorial because I'm not going to cover all the modifiers of shape layer but we are going to cover a most interesting one from all of those modifiers and through this modify you can create some awesome looking stuff let's have a look at the video what we are practicing today so have a look at this video I know you have seen these kinds of stuff in various logos and many motion graphics or are combined with various live action footages so today we are going to practice practicing this animation how you can create these kind of animations through shape layer modifiers so let's jump into after effects and start with a new composition so let's create a composition width of 1280 and height 720 and then what we'll do is we'll take a background layer oh, we can take any color background we can take any background color doesn't matter depends on your choice and then what we have to do is create a shape layer for example take a pen tool and then create a shape layer like this and take stroke to 10 pixels and change the color of the stroke to white so that it is clearly visible on our green colored background now where you can get these modifiers is you can uh, go to drop down menu of a shape layer and then go to add menu and there you'll find a wiggle path this wiggle path is a modifier which creates a automated animation in your shape layer either it is a line it is a circle or it is a square it can create a wiggle path animation automated animation in your shape layer so let's see how it has animated our shape layer let's play this in a real time player so you can see this kind of animation we have got through shape layer animation modifier now you can go to wiggle path modifier and you can change some attributes over there for example size of this oh let me turn off the fill okay you can change the size of the uh, these edges and detailing you can also change the detailing you can create some spark stuff like this 2d sparks uh, spark stuff like this by increasing details let's play this this kind of stuff and then let's uh, decrease the detailing to 10 and here you can see the points points uh, either you can choose corner points corner points what it will do is it will create some corner where you will get these some kind of peak uh, stuff over there but when you take it to smooth it will create smooth peaks like this uh, like a sine wave and then you can see wiggle second what does wiggle second do is it reduces the speed of animation or increases the speed of animation as much as you increase wiggle per second it will increase your animation speed of your shape layer modifier so let's bring it back to 2 or take it to 5 correlation correlation is basically defines the spline the behavior of the spline how is your spline going to behave according to your animation for example if you create 100 percent then this correlation the sine wave gets diminished or when you take it to zero the sine wave becomes the most distinct in your shape layer like this so we'll take it to 50 percent or 20 percent and temporal phase will increase the same the sine wave so this is how you can create some uh, cool looking stuff through shape layer modifier which is known as wiggle paths 
you can create some more stuff like this for example if you want to create a burning sun type of effect then how you can create that is take a new composition and will take a solid background of white color and then we'll take a sphere or ellipse like oh sorry we have to create a mask layer basically uh, sorry shape layer and then we'll fill it with yellow color and take stroke to no fill and then uh, we'll take it slightly orangish color so that it will look like sun like this and then we will create what will create is we will create some lines over here straight lines like this and then we will move it into the center take a ruler and control press control R to activate the ruler and match it in center like this and then move this shape layer in the center and by pressing Y you can move your anchor point into the center now we'll duplicate this before duplicating this let's hide our grid and take the stroke size of our line to around white and color should be let's turn off the fill and take color of the fill to around yellow or something like that like this okay then what we have to do now is exactly what we have done in previous lesson we have to take a wiggle path option over here and then will change the size and the corner point details now let's reduce the stroke number also because it is too much size should be let's decrease the stroke size from here or stroke width we can say that and then what we'll do is we'll duplicate this layer control D and then rotate it like this to 90 degree and then we'll rotate once again first of all we'll duplicate this one and we'll rotate it to 180 degree and then control D sorry control D and then rotate it to 260 degree or oh, not 260 let to 270 degree and then we'll duplicate it once again and rotate it slightly and then control D control D rotate control D rotate so this is how you can create some uh, cool looking stuff alright this is how you can create some cool looking stuff in after effects using wiggle path modifier so play around with this modifier and create some cool stuff and upload it to our facebook page creative connect learning and thank you for watching don't forget to like and subscribe our youtube channel creative connect learning